high dose vitamin C kills cancer cells. This is confirmed by research carried out by top doctors from the National Cancer Institute, Harvard Medical School, Sloan Kettering, MD Anderson, and many others. I cannot wait to review the evidence, but most importantly, by the end of this video, you will understand how high-dose intravenous vitamin C actually kills cancer cells. I am Olina Ivanova, Medical Director of Personalized Medicine. High-dose intravenous vitamin C, also called IVC, has been used by integrative oncology practitioners for over 50 years. But the mechanisms of action, how it works, have been a mystery for most of that period. Breakthrough research over the last several years has helped clarify how IVC actually kills cancer cells. Here are a few examples. As early as 2008, Mark Levine's team at NIH were observing in tests that high doses of vitamin C were killing cancer cells by applying oxidative stress. They noted that cancer cells often lack something called catalase, which made them susceptible to the IVC. These discoveries paved the way for others. In November of 2015, Dr. Yoon of MD Anderson the number one ranked cancer hospital, documented that high levels of vitamin C selectively caused oxidative stress on cancer cells, leading to cell death. Dr. Lewis Cantley was a member of this research team. At that time, he was the director of the Cornell Cancer Center. Using this evidence, he secured funding to launch a phase two trial using IVC for colorectal, pancreatic, and lung cancers. In March of 2017, Sloan Kettering's Dr. Joshua Schoenfield completed a study at the University of Iowa where he demonstrated that IVC damaged and killed cancer cells via oxidative stress. Dr. Joseph Collin of the National Cancer Institute designated Holden Comprehensive Center leads the world in studying IVC in a clinical setting. Between 2010, to May 2023, he has co-authored 41 publications on using high-dose vitamin C to treat cancer, many of which describe oxidative stress as the mechanism of action that brings about cancer cell death. While studies suggest IVC has the capacity to be a multi-targeting agent that can destroy cancer cells in 13 different ways, my quick review of several studies helped emphasize that oxidative stress is the number one observed mechanism of action for IVC. So how exactly does IVC kill cancer cells with oxidative stress? Well, most people think of vitamin C as an antioxidant that protects cells in the body from free radicals. However, the research proves that when high doses of vitamin C are given intravenously, the vitamin C becomes a pro-oxidant when it comes into contact with cancer cells. By the way, a pro-oxidant is a substance that causes damage to cell membranes, proteins, and even DNA. This damage can lead to cell death. So IVC generates a tremendous amount of pro-oxidants around and inside cancer cells, because generally cancer cells like to maintain high levels of iron around and inside of their cell. When this iron comes into contact with high and steady levels of vitamin C, it triggers something called Fenton reaction. So this Fenton reaction continuously occurs while vitamin C levels are high, which results in continuously generating the pro-oxidants, hydrogen peroxide and hydroxyl radicals. So these two are very harmful to cancer cells and form an attack against the outside of the cell that oftentimes transitions to inside of the cancer cell where DNA proteins and lipids get damaged, leading to cancer cell death. Another factor of the Fenton reaction is that vitamin C is converted into DHA dehydroascorbic acid. The DHA structure so happens to look a lot like sugar, 
so much so that it can trick glucose-hungry cancer cells into consuming the DHA. But upon intaking the DHA, cancer cells are not happy with it. So they will spend a lot of effort to reduce it back out. This depletes critical substances like glutathione and NAD in the cancer cell, which triggers an energy crisis leading to cell death. So the evidence shows these described mechanisms of action are what makes IVC potent as an anti-cancer treatment particularly when combined with chemotherapy, radiation, and immunotherapies. If you would love to dive into more of the scientific details around IVC's mechanisms of action, please check out the links to articles and studies in the video description. Our goal is that you found this information useful, and if so, please like the video and choose to share it with others that can benefit. For those interested in pursuing this treatment, you can schedule a no-cost consultation by selecting the link to the personalized medicine website in the video description. Thank you for watching our video. We wish you the best of health, stay strong and informed.